person I'm talking to is reading 155. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got some weights since then. What's it like year two? How much different, even though it's a, a different defense, how much different does it feel having a year under your belt? Uh, it feels good. I mean, I got way more confidence coming into this year, uh, knowing that our scheme and stuff is going to be a little bit different. And I like the way it is because it reminds me of high school almost, the way our scheme is. And just knowing that I got a lot of guys coming back around me that I looked up to that I know I can trust on the field is just a good thing. So we're looking pretty good right now. I feel great. What's 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 it been like with, with Coach Darkin here in that defense? What do you, what do you like about it? Uh, coach Dirk, he a great coach, uh, so he he been giving us some great little tips within our defense and the great tools, like techniques to use within the defense. But it's a simple uh, scheme. I don't want to say too much because yeah. we all we can record it, but like <laughs> we got we got we got a nasty defense for everybody to see this year. What do you need to work on the most between now and fall camp to get ready? Uh, I say communication. I say like. Being more vocal, more of a leader on the team uh, in that type of world. Is the defense coming easier now? Like, just mentally, like every time something comes in, is it easier to pick up? Yeah, it's most definitely easier to uh, definitely remember. And, like, the the concepts are getting way more bigger on me. So, like, I'm growing as, like, a player in the, in the on the field and off the field. So, the concepts within it is helping me learn and get ready for the NFL and stuff like that. You tell me, there's a lot of new faces back there in the secondary. There's some guys that have played before. What have you seen out of the newcomer guys so far? Uh, I see a lot of great talent in the room, uh, a lot of great DBs around me. Uh, we be out there competing every day, trying to get picks and stuff, turnovers. We got our hands on the ball every single practice, every single rep we can. As Coach Prime was telling us, like, every single rep is critical. So we just out there balling. What's the like to have Crime back as an on-the-field coach? Uh, it's, it's great for me. I know me and Crown, we done built a great relationship since I've been here in Auburn. So that's something I hope to continue. And he's just an overall great coach, uh, hands-on coach, help me like on and off the field. He can break stuff down for me and stuff like that. So he's a great coach. You got a chance to play a good bit last year, but your, your, your classmates did not play as much. How much have you seen the growth out of, out of your other three guys that they're corner that you came in with? Uh, I've seen a lot of growth between uh, T. Scott and Coach Hood. The, the boys we ball at Coach probably had the most picks, i say, last last year during the spring. So that boy be getting his hands on the ball for sure. But them boys out there doing their thing. How big was it to have Keontae come back as far as leadership in that room, considering four of the five graduated? Uh, Keontae, he a big, a big part of our group. So him being more vocal and stuff also this year is going to help us. And me being able to be vocal also with him is going to also help. But he a great overall player, somebody I can look up to, talk to about anything. He, I know he got me, I got him. And he got it like last year. Out of uh, him, uh, our, well, our whole secondary, like he one of the guys that like was very technical, uh, very much looked at, and took some pieces from his game and added to mine. How have you stepped up in your second year as a as a kind of a leader in that room? Uh, I've been uh, talking to the guys a lot more, more. To, I've been talking to a lot of the defense a whole lot more also. So just building the relationship, that's where it starts at. So we can, uh, so we can all have that mutual trust on and off the field. So that's. That's a big step for me. Dan, talk about the guys that you're going up against in practice. Got some, got some new faces out there as well. Then what, what have you seen from the receivers? Uh, I see a lot of a lot of great things from my receivers. They getting, they coming down with a lot of tough catches. I see a lot. I see a bright future. Uh, Cam Cole, and also that boy dog, uh, and I, uh, it's another freshman we got. Bryce, 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 yeah, Bryce. He he can move. That boy he is. That boy be slime. And, we got to uh, transfer from Cal. He be out there doing stuff right now. He be a little uh, dinged up for us, but he back in uh, regular jersey. So he been doing a little bit. And Cam also, uh, he been doing a lot of great things. Been getting his hands on a lot of balls. Much more bigger receiver. How, how does that help you guys in the secondary that you have, I would say, better receivers to go up against in practice this year? Uh, it helps a lot. Uh, so we can be more prepared going into our games and into the season. So that's a big, that's a big plus. I heard Bryce King can really move on the field. Yeah, he can. I haven't got a chance to guard him uh, since he's been in the slot a lot, but hopefully I do. Uh, see, see what I can do with him.
Uh, I want to see him run. Though. I know I can run. I want to see him run. Who else working at the nickel? Uh, with T. Scott be at corner and nickel. You know, Kiata, he was the nickel before he went to the corner. So, uh, and then we got uh, Bugs from Texas. He be at nickel a little bit also. Uh, and Champ. Champ. Yes, sir. I kind of oh, go ahead. Well, just at, at the Senior Bowl, um, you know, talking to uh, Seth, he said that, you know, he's still he's really in close contact with a bunch of you guys. Um, just kind of what, what is that relationship like with, with him and the ones who, you know, departed Nehemiah and, and DJ? And kind of what, what did they tell you, um, you know, even though they're still removed now? Uh, they, they always, we always talk. Uh, we texting each other often. So they always told me, like, I'm not. Like last year, they always told me I'm not like a freshman, like I'm not a regular freshman. So I just always kept that on my mind. Like I can't act like a regular freshman, so I gotta hold myself to a higher standard. And they they look at me to hold myself to that to that high standard because they see what I could do last year coming in as a freshman. What kind of advice have you given to the freshmen that are now there, whether it's Bryce or anybody else? Is it have you taken on that role yet? Uh, I've been talking to them a little bit, uh, most definitely telling them like keeping keeping a hand and pencil out in that in that meeting room like that that meeting room that's very important and how you how you break it down concepts and stuff like that and making sure they're talking on the field because that's that's gonna help them a lot